<coughs> My name is Pete Perry. <coughs> and let me start off by saying it doesn't really make me happy to be here today with what I want to discuss with the board, but I feel like I want to do it. And so, a couple of weeks ago at the public hearing of sale, the first one, the federal three districts, and there were many comments and many questions raised about the contract that this board had issued to Derek Johnson. At that time, I questioned, among other things, the matter of contract, the way the contract was issued. And today I appear before you asking this board to cancel that contract because I believe the contract was illegally awarded. Uh, besides the, the contract not being excessive, which is not necessarily illegal, it just might be lack of good judgment. But the contract, as I discussed the other night, was not on the agenda, despite, Mr. President, the assurances that you gave me that it was. I got a copy of the agenda the next day from the clerk's office, and it wasn't on the agenda just like I saw the one on the original that I looked at. And despite the fact that the finding that the contract was necessary in the best interest of the county was not spread upon the minutes as is required by the law, and the contract both board of attorney's approval was spread on minutes as required by the statute. But over the period of time, well, you also had the question that I believe Mr. Johnson had an inherent conflict of interest as he is his board's appointed in Central Mississippi Plan and Development District, which would have been the potential competitor for providing this work. Uh, for all those reasons, I think the contract should be voided. But in addition to that, the statute, which I believe controls this over the awarding of professional services contract, which Mr. Johnson in that meeting said it was a professional services contract. And several of you members of the board, at least three of you I know, have in various media discussions talked about the fact that he was providing you legal advice and legal following them what to do with redistricting. I had a long conversation with Ms. Martin. And the following where she and I discussed this contract and, and the fact that he was providing legal advice and legal representation regarding this. But the statute, which is 19-3-69, states that a professional is defined by the statute which allows for the contract for professional services shall be limited to. And for those attorneys in the group where it says shell, that's not discretionary, it means it must be. And at least I believe eight different things, attorneys, accountants, architects, engineers, lenders, surveyors, physicians, appraisers, whatever. My assumption has been since everybody has talked about Mr. Johnson providing legal advice and representation while he's doing this, is that you use the exception A, which is attorneys at law. Which it goes on to say, comma, admitted to practice law in the state by the State Board of Bar Missions. According to Mississippi Bar, Derek Johnson is not licensed to practice in this state. This contract does not therefore fit under the statute allowing a professional services contract. Now, I can't speak for Mr. Johnson, but I have looked on their website, I have talked to the bar and they say he is not licensed in this state. Now he's certainly not an accountant, an architect, an engineer, a land surveyor, a physician, or an appraiser, or a real estate broker. So there's not a provision that allows you to award a professional services contract, which is what this contract is supposed to be. According to the case law that is subject to this, this contract is therefore void. And I would suggest that this board should void this contract and not pay any funds on it, or else might be liable for it themselves. But it's, uh, the, the, the case law is clear, the statute is clear. If you don't use the professional services contract, you have to advertise for bids, which you did not do in this case. So there's no basis for it. Now the fact of what I was told after that meeting that we have a black county, black leadership in rural black, I can't find that exception in the statute anywhere. So I ask today that short of us having to fight this issue harder that 
this contract that just void void this contract before they proceed to pay me the money. I think 
Yeah. Uh, and I'm asking you, what's the difference? I think. Which cabinet is which? Did you have which cabinet? So let him answer your question and then yes, I And then the attorney will say something. There are provisions that if the people are in the employ of the county, there's other provisions there because CFPD is a quasi official organization. Quite, I mean, you're a dues paid member or whatever. The county pays, I don't know what they call it, dues, but to CFPD, I think they have an exception in law. It would not have been a professional services contract that you awarded to them. You would have awarded it under another statute in the code that Mr. Johnson would qualify for that, but CFPD would. Or else you would have had to do it with a bid. I'm not questioning your ability to award a contract. It's a question of how you go about awarding contracts. And if you're awarding without bidding, you have to have an exclusion that allows that. And the exclusion I was told that Mr. Johnson stood up here and said was it was a professional services contract. The question is, does he qualify under the statute and under case law? And the answer is no. Okay. Um, Well, no, no ma'am. If this board does not board the contract, we will take it to court and we'll let the court decide that. I understand the comments are well taken. No, this is not a comment. This was a request. If they choose not to do it. All right, Ms. Calhoun had a question. I'd be glad to answer if she wants to ask it. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm not here talking about CMPDD. 
I'm not defending whether you should use them or not. I think that $20,000 they were charging was too much too, but that's not my issue. So I'm not, to be clear, just not saying that you should use BMDD instead of Derrick Johnson. My question is the method in which you awarded the contract and whether it was legal. Yeah. And I appreciate the time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Mark. Okay. Okay. Any other items?